Bill Quigley. My name is Bill Quigley. <laughs> Q-U-I-G-L-E-Y. I'm from Loyola Law School in New Orleans. And I'm going to testify in the, in, the, in the trial about the First Amendment and why it's so important for all of us and why it's under attack during times when our government is at war and when uh, 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 politicians are fanning the, our fears of each other. Uh, it, in our history, it has always been in times of war and times of, of fear that the First Amendment, our right to speak out, our right to gather uh, and assemble, and our right to petition the government, they're so important, particularly at times of war, so that we can bring the, the issues of peace and justice to the government. But it's precisely at those times that the government cracks down the hardest. And they say, well, we'd love to let you speak, but we're worried about security. We're worried about law and order. We're worried about terrorists, and we're worried about everybody else. That's the same reason, you'll remember, that uh, right after World War II started, that the United States government interned thousands and thousands of j citizens of our country, Japanese American citizens. And why did they do it? They said they did it because of military security needs. Why do they now have fences all around all of these army bases all over the country, which they didn't have uh, 10, 12 years ago? because of security needs after 9-11. So when citizens used to be able to walk onto a base and used to be able to go and present their grievances to the, to the uh, army brass, now the government says, well, we can't do that now because it's, it's too scary. But it's precisely when, when the First Amendment is threatened that it's so important for all of us to stand up, to find our voice, to work together, and to do what it takes in order to petition the government and address the grievances that we have. And so that's what we're going to talk about, because these gentlemen who are on trial today, they went there peacefully. They were surrounded by dozens of young men and women who were... I'm sure embarrassed to be caught up in these ninja turtle suits of, <laughs> of, uh, of shields and, 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 and the like. And they had to do this goofy dance up to the front, which that you will see in the courthouse. And it's embarrassing. They, they didn't sign up for the military to, to confront our citizens who were bringing something, a petition about a, a, what could possibly be a war crime and certainly is a violation of law. They, they did it to defend us, not to, not to intimidate people. And so we uh, hope that the judge today will recognize that what these two individuals did is in a long tradition of people in the United States taking steps for justice and to confront the government when the government is doing wrong. And with that, we hope that we will be able to march out of the courthouse uh, with joy and exuberance. Thank right. you. Yeah. <laughs>